Have you installed one of these ice makers into a refrigerator or freezer that you're just not quite sure if the water pump is going to work and if, if you've done everything right? Well, here's a quick test that I can show you to make the water flow into the ice maker and see the, the ice maker cycle through all of its uh, stages very quickly. Now, if you have a working ice maker, then I don't advise you do this test because it's going to uh, cycle and actually run water through here. So if you already have water, then you could overflow the ice maker. Uh, in my case, I've got ice, and I know it's hard, so it's, we're actually going to see ice fall. So what you want to do is remove that cover. And again, this will, I only advise that you do this if your ice maker matches this unit. But if you look at the bottom, there's the holes T and H. You can use those to test the entire cycle of the ice maker to run through all of its motions. Now beware, you want to use extreme caution here because you're dealing with live electrical circuit and if you touch the wire that touches inside of these ports you will be shocked. And it's 110 volts, it's not just a, a small battery here. This is, this is going to hurt you or kill you. So what you want to do is get a, a, a wire, a, a wire that's shielded or you can use a paper clip like I have bent here with um, shielded pliers and I'm going to be sure not to touch the metal part of the of the pliers you see and I've bent it to be the precise shape of these width of these two holes and what happens is when I touch in here you'll see it'll start to turn and run through the motions very quickly now I'm going to insert it for three or four seconds until I hear a click There was the click, so I've removed it. Now I'm safe, and we can just watch the ice maker go. You'll see the little notch at the bottom is going to rotate 360 degrees all the way around, and it'll run through various stages. So I'm going to pause here, and I'll, I'll start the video again when something interesting happens, because this will take a couple of Now the arm is actually raising. It'll take a few seconds. ice just fell in the bucket now we ought to hear the water come on we won't be able to see it because it's behind that shield in the back And now the water's done. So I know my water pump's working. I'm quite happy about that. The arm's going to drop back down in a second. The little notch is going to fall, going to rotate down to the bottom and stop and go back into a normal cycle. Also, just to show you, these are the ice cubes that it's making. If you, if you feel like um, maybe it can, they're coming out a bit smaller than you would like, you can adjust the water level using this screw right there. Um, half a turn in either direction, I think uh, clockwise is going to be uh, less water and counterclockwise allows more water and gives you a bigger ice cube. So just a little extra tip there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please feel, please subscribe because I need to get to a thousand subscribers in order for YouTube to support my channel. So thank you very much. Have a great day.